Now we know what is the kinetic energy of the system of two particles from center of mass of the system. Let us learn how to apply work energy theorem relative to center of mass frame of reference. We know work energy theorem is a very important tool in mechanics. Work energy theorem can be applied from any frame of reference in presence of any type of the forces that is conservative, non-conservative, internal, external. Right? If we apply work energy theorem from center of mass frame of reference, we can say work done by total forces may be internal or external is equal to the change in kinetic energy of the system but with respect to center of mass. So, mathematically here we can write W total equal to delta K system with respect to center of mass. And here W total in place of W total we can write W internal plus W external. Right? Now, this kinetic energy. We have calculated this term uh, with respect to center of mass. So, here we can write kinetic energy of the system with respect to center of mass final minus kinetic energy of the system with respect to center of mass initial. And we know kinetic energy of the system of two particles equal to 1 by 2 mu multiplied by V relative square. So, here we can write 1 by 2 mu common and in bracket that is equal to V relative final square minus V relative initial square. And as we discussed this term mu is nothing but reduced mass. Now, for non-rigid object, suppose we consider non-rigid object consisting a group of particles. In general, the displacement of different particles relative to center of mass will be different. This will give the non-zero work due to the internal forces. So, here we can say work done by internal forces in the system is not equal to zero. But if we consider for the rigid body, the total work done by the internal forces will be zero. Why? For the rigid body, we know the relative displacement between the two particles does not change during motion or during translation. So, we can say total burden that is the total burden by the internal forces will be zero for the rigid body. Now, let us discuss burden by the internal forces. We will cover the internal forces like the tension force, normal reaction, friction force and spring force here. So, let us first discuss burden by the constant forces. Here the constant forces means tension force and normal reaction. We know in case of the string, we can observe there is no relative separation between two particles in the string. And suppose we are applying force to some rod, the similar statement is justified for the rod also because there is no relative displacement between any two particles situated on the rod. That means the burden by the tension force on the system should be zero. And now let us discuss about the normal reaction. Suppose two bodies are in contact with each other. If the contact is not losing, that means the burden by the normal reaction to the system should also be zero. That means the total burden by the constant force should be zero. Now let us come to the friction force. And in friction force, first we will discuss about the static friction. You know, in case of the static friction, there is no relative sliding occur. So in case of the static friction, if we talk about the net burden on the system by the static friction that should be equal to zero. That means work done by the static friction should be equal to zero. Now let us discuss about the work done by the kinetic friction. You know in case of the kinetic friction there is relative sliding between two surfaces that is two contacting surfaces. And if there is a relative sliding that means there will be work done. And here we define Work done by the kinetic friction equal to W friction, that is the kinetic friction equal to minus of friction force, that is the kinetic friction multiplied by relative separation between the two surfaces. Here, this is the friction force, that is the kinetic friction, and here R is nothing but relative displacement between two contacting surfaces. Now, let us discuss work done by the spring force. We can 
राइट वर्ड इन दाइड एक्सट्रीम फोर्स इक्वल टू माइनस के बाई टू एक्स फाइनल स्क्वायर माइनस एक्स इनिशियल स्क्वायर सपोज स्प्रिंग इज इनिशियली रिलैक्सड दैट मीन्स एक्स इनिशियल इक्वल टू जीरो इफ वी सब्सिट्यूट दिस वैल्यू एक्स इनिशियल इक्वल टू जीरो एंड इन प्लेस ऑफ एक्स फाइनल इफ वी राइट एक्स फाइनल इक्वल टू एक्स सो दिस एक्सप्रेशन विल बिकम डब्ल्यू स्प्रिंग इक्वल टू माइनस वन बाई टू की एक्स स्क्वायर एक्स इज द डिफॉर्मेशन ऑफ एक्स स्प्रिंग वेन इट वॉज इनिशियली एट रिलैक्स पोजिशन रिमेंबर दिस वर्ड इज ऑल्सो इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ फ्रीम ऑफ एक्सेंस नाउ वी नो how to calculate the linear momentum of the two particle system from center of mass frame of reference also kinetic energy of the two particle system from center of mass frame of reference we also learn how to apply the work energy theorem from center of mass frame of reference and finally we discuss about the internal forces and work done by the internal forces there is few important points first point that is very important that is total work done by the internal forces does not depend on the choice of frame of reference here we discussed about the work done by the constraint forces work done by the friction forces and work done by the spring force we learn work done by the constraint forces that is the tension force and normal reaction is always zero we need not to bother about work done by these forces to the system and also one force is also very important to discuss that is the friction force that is a static friction force that is also zero and one thing is very important about the kinetic friction that is this burden by the kinetic friction force is always independent of choice of frame of reference it is always equal to negative friction force multiplied by relative sliding between two surfaces the burden by the spring force is also independent of frame of reference this is equal to minus half k x square second that is the internal force as a whole cannot change the kinetic energy of the center of mass of the system whereas external forces can change the kinetic energy of center of mass of the system when net work done by the internal force is non zero the kinetic energy of the system about center of mass changes due to the internal forces correct these are few important points 